Hey everyone, meet Morrigan, my new girl. Hi, mortals. I'm Morrigan, and I would like to say hi. Whoa, Peter, you and Morrigan? That's new. Looking good, Parker. Finally grew a backbone, huh? Yeah, all that Peter gets no bitches just ends now. And how about MJ? I've decided to stop holding back. I'm done with the writers always shipping me with Mary Jane. It's toxic, and I need someone who actually appreciates me. I mean, look at Paul and MJ's engagement. Proof enough. Gotta admit, he's got a point. I mean, I don't give a damn about Mary Jane, too. Says the guy who dates a smurf and call himself superior. Shut your butt, Parker, or should I say Dr. Octopus? And Peter, what the hell do you think you're doing? Breaking the can event like this, you can't just change everything because your sorry ass feels like it. Oh, look, the time cop is here to lecture us about rules. This isn't a game, Morrigan. And Peter, fix it or I'll fix it for you. Miguel, I think we should let him cook. Peter, how could you say that? You don't know anything about us. I missed the part where that's my problem. Oh, I know plenty. I know that you took advantage of MJ when she was vulnerable. I know you played the victim card while being the real villain. And I know that, despite everything, she's still comparing you to me every day. It's got a sting knowing you'll never measure up. Yeah. Even the Sinister Six couldn't break Peter the way you did, Paul. Yeah, he's got a point there, buddy. We would be honored to recruit you to our Sinister Six as the greatest villain of all time. Your talents are wasted with MJ. You belong with us. Whoa, let's not get carried away. Mary Jane's been a big part of our lives for a long time. And look at this. She's already engaged to Paul. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. I gotta admit, he's got a point. What's with all the Mary Jane drama? I always knew you had it in you, Tiger. Now you're finally showing your true colors. Seeing Peter with a chick like Morrigan, I mean, where the fuck did you get all this riz from, Parker? From Bully Maguire's book. Which book? Out of the book, mother The book. It's called, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eyes, it's a gold mine for picking up girls. That's my boy. Spread the riz, Peter. That's some spicy stuff right there. Yeah, it worked on all the Avengers hotties. Black Widow, Captain Marvel, even Looney Stark fell for it. Damn! Really, Peter? You think you're better off with her? Yeah, what does she have that Mary Jane doesn't? Oh, sweetie. Where do I even start? For one, I'm not here to just be his arm candy. I bring some real excitement into his life. And you, mortal, stealing Mary Jane. That's a bit like trying to be the main act at a circus when you're barely qualified to clean the elephant poop. Damn! Paul, did you know MJ has a thing for losers? No. No? Well, she does now. <laughs> <laughs> you're delusional, Peter. You can't seriously think you're better off with a demon. Oh, I think I can. At least Morgan doesn't constantly remind me of my failures and then run off with the first guy who gives her attention. And MJ, honey, maybe work on your personality. Might help with keeping a man interested. Mary Jane, you just got webbed. This is hilarious. But seriously, good for you, Peter. Thanks, Gwen. It's about time I started living for myself and not for some writer's idea of a perfect life. You look like you know what you're doing. Let me give you some advice. Andrew, you need to move on after Gwen's death. And Peter 616, why do you want to go back to MJ when you got all those hotties around you? Uh, can I get some advice too? And you, Ultimate Spider-Man, you're the GOAT. Keep doing you. As for me and my MJ, the difference is she knows she's got the boss at home. Oh, come on, Peter. You're just saying all this because you can't handle the real deal with MJ. Yeah, Morrigan? Really? That's your choice? At least I don't need a rebound to feel important. Right? Mary Jane, you're so used to being the center of attention, you forgot that relationships are a two-way street. And Paul, let's be real. You're just the flavor of the month. Peter's been dealing with cosmic threats while you struggle with IKEA furniture. God damn! <laughs> I gotta say, Morgan, you really brought the heat. I... you... This isn't over. Oh, it's over. But hey, no hard feelings, just putting some dirt in your eyes. See you, chump.